Atheism is a response to theism. Quite simply, a theist is someone who is a believer in the mythology of a religion. An atheist is a non-believer. That is what the prefix denotes. An asymmetrical triangle is non-symmetrical, and an abiotic factor is non-biological. It is true that it does not fully make sense to define oneself as what they are not, except in the form of a joke. However, the terms atheism and atheist are apt. Firstly, in society where theism is the normal state of belief and atheism is the exception, the word offsets atheism from the common opinion, thus emphasizing the difference. The term theist is fairly rare, purely because theism is in the majority. Second, and somewhat counterintuitively, the word atheist is effective because it carries a stigma. Because of the structure of faith, which criticism is highly ostracized. Religion doesn't seem to work like that. It has certain ideas at the heart of it which we call sacred or holy. What it means is, here is an idea or a notion that you're not allowed to say anything bad about. You're just not. Why not? Because you're not. A victory of atheism serves two purposes. It denotes a confidence and lack of shame in joining the ranks of reason, and moreover, it displays that rationality is powerful enough to be able to overcome any pressure exerted by Bronze Age beliefs. I suspect that the word atheist itself contains or remains a stumbling block, far out of proportion to what it actually means, and a stumbling block to people who otherwise might be happy to out themselves. Non-theist will do for all that, uh, yet unlike atheist, it doesn't have the same phobic, uh, hysterical, uh, re re responses. But I think actually the alternative is to grasp the nettle of the word atheism itself precisely because it is a taboo word carrying frissons of hysterical phobia. Critical mass may be harder to achieve with the word atheist than with the word non-theist or some other non-confrontational word, but if we did achieve it with that dread word, atheist itself, the political impact would be even greater. Thirdly, the words atheism and atheist are direct and to the point, unlike euphemisms like Bright's, which sacrifice accuracy for sociability. Atheism is blunt and thus explains within itself precisely what it represents. A fourth and somewhat minor benefit of the word atheism arises from the fact that it is already the standard adjective, and it is simply convenient to continue its use. For these reasons, the term atheism and atheist are not a poor term for a lack of a belief.